Opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Live, ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 PCW Premier Cup. I am Mike Arnott, and the outlaw Adam Knight has just arrived here at the venue. Adam Knight, can I get a comment here on tonight's Premier? I guess not. Smile on Jack Napier backstage here at the Premier Cup. One of the biggest talked about matches tonight features this man, Jackie the Jet Lee. Jackie, you are riding a wave of success not seen here since Kenny Omega, who happens to be your opponent tonight. How are you gonna handle this? You know, it's a tough challenge and I'm ready for it. Everyone I've been facing have been stepping stones and the ultimate goal is to beat him anyway. And he's just, it's just a nice test during this tournament. There you have it. Tonight, Kenny Omega, Jackie Lee, Premier Cup. Back to ringside. Thank you, smiling Jack Napier, and welcome to the 2013 PCW Premier Cup. I'm Mike Arnott, alongside Matt Critic, and we are anxiously awaiting our first round opening contest as Jackie the Jet Lee takes on the most sought after talent in wrestling today, Kenny Omega. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Matt Critic, and for the next four weeks here on Primos on Shaw TV, you are going to get the best of the best in independent wrestling. This week, we have Kenny Omega taking on Jackie Lee. Also, we have Priceless Chad Tatum and James Beaver later in the night. That's right, two first round contests here in the 2013 Premier Cup. Priceless Chad Tatum will be making his return to PCW after a lengthy absence, but right now, we're awaiting the one and the only Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, the most world-renowned star here in PCW, here on Shaw TV or anywhere in the world. Kenny Omega has got to be one of the best in the best. He's got moves like no other, and he's got a following like no other. That's right, Kenny Omega, he is the only five-time heavyweight champion in PCW history. And when you talk about him being one of the most sought-after talents in the world of professional wrestling today, all you have to do is harken back to the time when Kenny Omega had a match of the year contest with a nine-year-old girl. That's absolutely right, and it's not hard to have a tenure like Kenny Omega does here in PCW, winning all the championships that he's won here in PCW for the length of time he's been here again in PCW. Got to give some of the other guys credit. Only a couple of years in the business, most of the new guys here on the roster. Uh, Jackie Lee is probably one of the best of the best here in, here in Manitoba, here in Canada, anywhere really in independent wrestling, just as bad as Kenny Omega. Well, Jackie the Jet Lee, we saw a few weeks ago Jackie Lee take on Scott Justice in one of the best matches that we've seen here at date on Primo's Wrestling Canada. And of course, these two men, Kenny Omega and Jackie Lee, are no stranger to one another. They both used to be a part of one of the most dominant factions in PCW history, the experience. Kenny Omega taking it to Jackie Lee now. Jackie Lee does not seem to have any position to reverse this. Uh, I guess he's just going to have to either submit or wait for uh, Kenny to get tired. Well, Kenny Omega, he's not one to get tired. He's been doing this for many years. He's a PCW original, and uh, it's going to take a lot to tire out a man like Kenny Omega. Well, I didn't think he'd physically get tired, just tired of doing that same move because it's, it's only going to take so much toll on Jackie Lee. Kenny Omega starting a little bit of a different offense here with some uh, brute force kicks and punches to the side of Jackie Lee. Kenny Omega, of course, known for being one of the most 
technically proficient wrestlers in the business today, and as of late, it seems that he's been really showing an, uh, an aggressive streak. That mean streak is really coming out in Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega has quite a bit of a mean streak as of late, uh, Mike or not, and uh, it doesn't stop him from his comedic entrance or his comedic acts or uh, facial expressions toward the fans, and uh, I believe that's what they like, no matter if he's in a bad mood, a good mood, or if he's in no mood at all, the fans are still 100% behind Kenny Omega. And of course, fans of the Street Fighter video game series. Gotta cut you off right here, Mike Arnott. What's Jackie Lee gonna do? Suicide dive to the outside. Sorry about that, Mike. What, what were you saying about the Street Fighter series? Beautiful move there by Jackie Lee. And of course, uh, fans of the Street Fighter video game series will uh, recognize one of Kenny Omega's signature moves stolen from that game, the Hadouken. That's right, Kenny Omega has been performing the Hadouken, one of the only men to perform in professional wrestling. Uh, for many years now, and I believe Kenny Omega was the originator of adding the uh, anime uh, experience to his uh, move roster. Absolutely, Kenny Omega is an innovator. And you're seeing right now, you are seeing the innovative style. Beautiful, beautiful leapfrog bulldog by Kenny Omega. That could be it right here. Now, was Kenny Omega supposed to connect on Jackie Lee with the leg, or does he use the hand all the time in that maneuver, Mike? I don't know, and I don't think it matters because it was effective either way. Jackie Lee, not much on the offense here since that suicide dive. It, it, he might have cracked his head. He might have done anything uh, to stop his own momentum here in this contest. I don't know if Kenny Omega uh, should end it now or just toy with Jackie for a while. Well, Jackie Lee, he started off strong and maybe he's paying for it right now. Maybe he uh, blew his load a little too soon, so to speak. Maybe we spoke too soon. Coming back, Jackie Lee. Kenny Omega looks pretty intense at Jackie Lee's offense. He doesn't seem to be having fun right now. I think Kenny Omega has fun every time he's in there. As long as he's hurting somebody and inflicting damage on his opponent, he's having fun. And that's what he's doing to Jackie Lee right now. Amazing steamroll from Kenny Omega into a huge moonsault. But only a two count. Jackie Lee not going to get pinned that way. Referee Shane McLovin just counted two. Jackie Lee, he's showing a lot of intestinal fortitude right now. He's pulling out everything that he has to try to defeat Kenny Omega. Everybody wants to advance in this tournament and go on to the final round of the 2013 Premier Cup. That's what this is all about. That's right, this tournament will be happening every week here on the program for the next four weeks. Coming up in the next few weeks, you're gonna see returns, like we said earlier, Chad Tatum. Mike Angels, he'll be returning here to PCW. He's had a lengthy absence as well. As always, we will see the outlaw Adam Knight. And uh, from Alberta, massive damage. He'll be here on the program uh, over the next few weeks. We're seeing a lot of new faces here on Primo's Wrestling on Shaw TV. It's an exciting time. It's the summer of Premier. I don't think I've been this excited to see the action here on Primo's since, of course, the big Comic-Con series, which featured the best of five between Scott Justice and Jackie Lee. Some of the best wrestling I've seen on TV anywhere ever. Well, that's what we're bringing you here on Primo's Wrestling every single week on Shaw TV. We're bringing you the absolute best wrestling from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. That's what it's all about. And Jackie Lee is taking it to, to uh, Kenny Omega right now. I think tonight all we're bringing you here is two counts and an intense look in Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is and always has been the idol of Jet, Jackie the Jet Lee. He's been his uh, favorite wrestler for about 10 years. It's gotta mean something huge to be in here against one of your idols in a tournament such as this. The Premier Cup, it would be huge for Jackie Lee to win this match, never mind win the whole cup. Oh, absolutely, Jackie Lee, you can tell he wants the respect of Kenny Omega more than anything. And that's, uh, not only is this match about advancing in the Premier Cup, but it is about respect, and Jackie Lee is trying to gain the respect of Kenny Omega in this match. 
as we saw at the beginning. He got the handshake from Jackie Lee. Uh, I believe that's mutual respect, but will he continue to keep that respect after this contest is over? Well, I think he's proving right now that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kenny Omega. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the world, and that's saying something about Jackie the Jet Lee. Kenny Omega swatting off Jackie Lee's offense into a huge dragon suplex. Uh, that looks like he's out on his feet. Uh, and I think Kenny Omega is setting up here for the Hadouken. We mentioned this earlier, one of the most innovative moves in wrestling today, the Hadouken. That could be it for Jackie Lee. That was innovative right to the face. Right to the face. And here comes another one of Kenny Omega's signature maneuvers. But it looks like, looks like Jackie Lee rolls out of it. One, two, no, no, just a two count. I thought that was three, Mike. Unbelievable, almost an upset there from Jackie Lee. Right now, he looks like he's out on his feet. Kenny Omega can finish him off any time right now. What's he gonna do here? Into a beautiful oh. German suplex. Gets the bridge and the pin. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Omega is the first man to advance to the final round of the Premier Cup Tournament. Mike or not, we're gonna watch a replay of that maneuver. It was just so spectacular. We've gotta watch a replay here. Look, look at how he does this. Throws him, holds him, just holds him there, right on his head. Beautiful bridging combination to Three, and that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Coming up next, Andrew Shellcross. He'll be in the ring. And we're back here, ladies and gentlemen, on the program. We are here with a Filthy Josh in the ring. And uh, just before we went to break, Andrew Shalcross looked like he was making his way uh, out to the ring. And uh, as we just heard it, he's coming out here. Oh, give me a break. This guy, he really gets under my skin. I, I don't even want to watch this jerk off. I'm out of here, Mad Critic. Settle down, settle down, Mike Arnott. Well, I, I guess he's left me at my broadcast position. And I'm just gonna have to sit here by myself and listen to the the gospel of Andrew Shalcross. Super now, but I want you guys to get excited tonight because not only do we have the Premier Cup tournament, but you see the cameras. We are filming here for Shaw TV tonight, so make sure you guys get a lot of noise. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the Premier Cup trophy. That is what it is all about. As we saw just before the break, Kenny Omega advances in the first round here. Follow us on Facebook, all the action, all the events, and upcoming events. Facebook slash PCW Action. You can find us right there. Tonight, 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 as I said before, Priceless Chad Tatum and James Beaver coming up next. Be able to choose any part of you want to be here on August 24th for Bowling Point right here at Doubles to challenge the PCW Tag Team Champions. Well, that is a huge announcement. Uh, the winner of the Premier Cup is going to take on, uh, with any opponent of his choice, or sorry, any tag team partner of his choice, take on the Outlaw Adam Knight and Steve Carino for the World's Tag Team Championships. And uh, Mike! Mike Arnott should not be in the ring right now. He should be at this broadcast position. And uh, apparently he's got something to say to everybody. Looks like he's been drinking a bit. I don't know if you're drunk. I don't know if you're on drugs. I don't know if you're on coke or if you're just an idiot. But you're making a fool of 
everybody is all on shot television right now. So please, say whatever you're going to say. Let's just get through this. Nobody wants to hear you and me talk. Ooh, big words from Mike. Let me tell you, let me tell you just how much of a coward Andrew Shawcross is. After 11 years of story PCW history, Andrew Shawcross finally decides to publicly announce himself as the owner of PCW. You might want to keep your job until the 12th year, Mike. Wow. Just come sit down. Mike Arnott is not very welcome uh, here in the PCW community. And apparently neither is Shaw TV. Just ignore that, people. Ignore that. Professional wrestling, Mike. It's not amateur wrestling. You can take your stories and go home. Skinny Mike are not in a singlet. Not today, not next month. Never, never do I want to see that. Oh, 
Coach, come back and sit down, Mike, because people want to see wrestling. Thank God, your winner is Mike Arnott. Now get out of the ring, we wanna see wrestling. Wrestling! That, that was inappropriate, if I've ever seen him inappropriate. But uh, still, wrestling. Looks like Andrew Shalcross has just made an open challenge to Mike Arnott or accepted Mike Arnott's challenge, I'm not sure. But uh, August the 24th in, in Winnipeg. Mike Arnott, Andrew Shalcross. That's right, Mike. Back to the broadcast position. Step away from the ring. Move with the filthy jaw. Yeah. After this, uh, I guess I'll be back with uh, Chad Tatum and James Beaver. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with uh, James Beaver versus Chad Tatum already in the ring. This is the Matt Critic, and finally, Mike Arnott has gotten out of the ring and joined me here at our broadcast position where we belong. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh, Matt Critic? <laughs> no, I did not see calling 10 minutes the most boring promo I've ever seen by myself. You at least could have called your own promo. Take your headset with you next time. Well, aside from that, right now we are looking at the return of priceless Chad Tatum in this first round contest of the 2013 Premier Cup as he squares off the Commonwealth James Beaver. The only thing that looks priceless about Chad Tatum is the fact that he agrees to wrestle for no money. Because I think back in 2009, I seen him wearing the same singlet I got, Mike Arnott. Well, I wear the same singlet that I wore in high school. What's wrong with that? You're wearing it now at the broadcast position, just like Jerry the King Lawler, hoping to get booked. You've been hoping to get booked since high school. It didn't work then, and it's not working now. Here is James Beaver, one of the most booked guys here in Manitoba, here anywhere, taking on a guy who I'm not sure where they dug him up from, but I am hoping this match is priceless. Oh, it will be, because despite his, his singlet, as you would uh, point out, Priceless Chad Tatum is one of the most accomplished wrestlers here at PCW. He is the longest reigning Canadian champion in history, 574 consecutive days. Or in wrestling days, he had it for 20 shows. 
Uh, when you only wrestle every two months, it's not hard to keep a championship such as the Canadian Championship. It's, it's hard to get in from out of town when you live in the rural neighborhoods to wrestle in front of these great fans here in a big city. Isn't that right, Mike or not? Well, that's neither here nor there. Right now, James Beaver, he's putting the hurt on uh, priceless Chad Tatum, of course. I believe next week we're going to see the return of Chad Tatum's former tag team partner Mike Angels. I'm hoping Mike Angels rode in on a better horse, maybe bought some new gear, maybe got a new entrance theme, maybe something to make a big dramatic return because as far as I can tell, ladies and gentlemen, price of Chad Tatum. Uh, I, I can't even tell if anybody remembers me. Quiet, quiet atmosphere here in this match as opposed to Kenny Omega and Jackie Lee. That critic knowing how to make friends, I see. I am the critic and I will critique the best. It's not kissing anyone's ass and it's not throwing anybody out the door. It is critiquing every single thing. And I want to see something good at a crisis chat Tatum here after a lengthy, lengthy vacation. Priceless Chad Tatum needs to get this done to be on the back critic side. Well, you gotta give the guy a bit of a break, because it's been probably two years since Priceless Chad Tatum has stepped in a ring, so there's bound to be a bit of ring rust. Well, you tell me, Mike Arnott, has it been two years since Priceless Chad Tatum tried to get a match, or has it been two years since anybody called him for a booking? Strong words from the Matt Critic. James Beaver taking down priceless Chad Tatum here. We've seen quite a bit of offense. Uh, I, I'm not liking this referee the same as I said last week and the week before. I am not, not at all liking this referee. PCW needs to hire Alan Daniels to ref all these big matches. Is he related to Christopher Daniels? He is related to Christopher Daniels. He is related to Jack. Daniels, as you can see, he's always, always lit up in the ring. Jack Daniels, one of my best friends. Well, that's something you and I have in common, Mike Arndt, and that's, that's a Jack Daniels kick in the stomach if I ever saw him. Maybe we call that the Daniels angle. And of course, I mentioned earlier, places Chad Tatum, longest reigning Canadian champion in PCW history. He also has a more dubious distinction, and that is being the shortest reigning PCW heavyweight champion. He held that belt for six days. Who did he lose that championship to? Uh, Mike Arnott? I believe he won and lost that title to Mental World. Two count off of Moonsault. Uh, sort of like the same as we saw earlier. Uh, Static Moonsault, I have never seen get a three count. I'm not exactly sure why everybody seems to do this adding moonsault and go for a go for a cover. Pele out of nowhere. That was a beautiful maneuver. I'll give that to Priceless Chad That was pretty exciting. I think that ring rust is starting to wear off now, and we're seeing the old Priceless Chad Tatum in there. And James Beaver is going to be the one to pay the price. Whether the ring rust comes off a priceless Chad Tatum or not, the PCW ring itself is very rusty and definitely needs some self-improvement. Well, uh, my monitor went down there for a second, but we saw a slice bread number two. A good one if I ever saw one, but uh, you can't account for technical difficulties even here in PCW. I'm gonna switch to another camera and see if that can be better. What's Tatum gonna do here? Is he gonna... Beautiful maneuver from priceless Chad Tatum. That could be it for James Beaver. That's right, Mike or not, that is it for James Beaver. And that is it for us here at PCW. Here, once again, on Wednesday and Thursday nights, 10.30 and 11 p.m. Next week, you'll see Leo Brunton take on that Tony Scorpio Jr. Scott Justice will take on Mike Angels. That's us. That's it for us. The opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of this station. 
Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. 